Holy crap. I've been so busy working on stuff, I forgot to take video. Anyways, a little update. Taking the Pro X 600 Ice Racer, which I'm sure a lot of people don't even realize I owned. I've had it for the better part of a year. Just kind of been hanging around. There's no ice racing this year for the most part, so I haven't done anything with it. Uh, I'm at the point, I think I'm, for the most part, time being at least done with the ice racing. So I am taking this Pro X and making it no longer an ice sled. So I guess I'll show you the progress I've made so far. Don't mind the mess from uh, the part out, but first things first, these little ice skis had to go. Put on some OEM Pro X skis. Still gotta get some ski loops stuff for them. Uh, I took the little short front shocks off and I'm putting a set of Walker Evans clicker shocks on the front. These are actually from a Pro X2. Currently, I'm taking the pipe off so I can get the shock on the other side removed. As you can see, it just had some cheap shocks that were a short length to lower the front end. But gotta get the pipe off, get the top bolt out of the shock, and I can throw this other one in. So I do actually have to pull the skid. This is actually an extra 10 rear skid. The reason they swap that is X10s are easier to set up for ice and a Pro X skid. So get that pulled out, throw a Pro X skid in it, probably swap the track. And yeah. Then <clears throat> do an alignment on it. And it should pretty much be ready for snow. It's just a little 600 small block. Uh, as far as I know, it's stock, except for an SLP can. But it seemed to run pretty good. Took it up down the street. I think dead hooked. It actually ripped pretty good, not gonna lie. Not gonna be like crazy fast or nothing, but it definitely put all the power this thing makes down to the down to the ground. It skated. Oh uh, have to get rid of this windshield. It's honestly when you turn the windshield hits the brakes. If you turn to the right, turn to the left, hit your hand between the handlebars and the windshield. It's not ideal. But just make some progress. I'm gonna turn this thing into a trail ripper. Hell yeah. Okay, I've been pretty bad at doing updates on this one so far, but this is where we're at. We got the walker ends front shocks on. I still need to cut some holes in the tub to be able to put the uh, clamps on that hold the reservoir up. But those are on. Got some random skis on it for the moment. Just probably not the one that run, but maybe. I don't know. I still need to get new bolts because these ones are a little short uh cleaned it up a little bit didn't wipe it down or nothing but got the leaves out went ahead pulled the chain case apart so i'm gonna swap the track keep the ice track somewhat decent and uh went ahead and pulled the rear skid out of one of my pro x2s so the reason i picked this one is because it's 121 skid with rail extensions where my other pro x2 has Full length, 136 rails, blah, blah, blah. I didn't really want to long track this. So we're gonna take the rail extensions off, cut the high fax down, and then put the adjusters back on the 121 rails and just go full send on it. Pull the extra head out that's under this thing and call it a day there. Also, got the new track. Pretty good score, I thought. This thing's looking a little, little bare over here now. But we picked up the Ripsaw track, already studded. It's got a couple studs missing, but no big deal. Paid $140 for this track. So I was, I was pretty freaking pumped on that. Like I said, there's a couple studs missing, but hey, I like a cheap track. So that's what that is. Gonna throw this on the Prox and yeah, progress. Basically just trying to do what I can and get the same back on the trail for more or less as cheap as possible with things I have around and or can purchase for cheap. I'm not gonna go out spend $600 or 700 on a brand new track and then another two, 300 bucks stud it. Just not gonna do it. I mean, let's be honest, I paid $600 for the whole sled. So as of right now, I'm in at 740 bucks plus parts I already had laying around. So, and I actually am super glad I didn't ride this much. The reason for that being is when I pulled my chain case cover off, it was pretty much dry. Usually they come out all wet and oily. No, this was completely freaking dry. So yeah, I only rode this thing for maybe 500 feet up and down the street and that was pretty much it. So anyways, 
back to working on this stuff. Get the skid ready to go in before I start tearing everything else out. Anyone need a uh, X10 that was set up for ice? Come on. Somebody wants it. Same with track. Wants to buy this thing. I wish these were trail studs. I would just left it on there. Oh, fucking well. All right, video update. Got this uh, Pro Extra Skate All 121. Got the extra 10 that was set up for ice removed. As you can tell, there is a very slight difference in height there. Um, I got this track pulled. I had four picks per uh, bar. Unfortunately, I wish these were freaking trail studs, but they're not. So, can't. I mean, you can run it on the trail, but they won't last very long. So, because these ones aren't the sharpest ever, they need sharpened. But you can look at the difference between that one and let's say I don't know another track. Go look at the XC. lot more meat in these right it'll be carbide tipped so studs like what's on my xd will last 100 times longer than these would on the trail so i need to track down where the hell i threw my track at <laughs> first off it's supposed to be going on this thing get the track tossed in there and uh throw this pro this is a pro x2 rear skid so all the the skid the shocks everything going on that came from my donor over here so this is unfortunately kind of turning into a full part out oh yeah got a new truck denali looks sick but on that note i'm gonna go look for, oh man i'm an idiot i found my other trap there <laughs> was back the six wheeler i don't know how i didn't see it i like so i'm looking at a screen instead of actually looking but yeah Big beefy, not very sharp. Small, extremely sharp. And it should be a lot sharper. Like I should do this and it should cut me. So these ones are pretty dull. They all need sharp before going back ice racing, but some of you out there probably use it. But this track, it's going on a Prox. All right, Prox skid, new tracker in the sled. Throw an old chain case back together. Maybe uh, this time <laughs> it'll actually have some lube because I pulled this thing apart and it was completely dry. You can almost see like a little bit of rust starting on the chain. So <laughs> gotta get this back together, get it topped off, chain case fluid. And uh, yeah, from there, throw the exhaust. Well, no, I'll skip the exhaust for now. I still gotta put holes in my tub, not reservoirs. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. But anyways, going to get this done and the uh, cap on the other side of the drive shaft installed. And get moved on from there. Okay, chain case all back together. Got this side of the drive shaft back together. Now this is an opportune time to go ahead and grease that bearing. Okay, along with your jack shaft. So I'm going to go ahead and not do that right now because I know, I know the drive shaft is nice and greasy. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw my clutch back on. And... Hell, I think from there I could throw the exhaust. Oh, freaking reservoirs. I keep forgetting about those. All right, we're getting closer though. Put the clutch on. Okay, exhaust is all back on. And uh, I already checked it out. It, I've already had it running, but just for you guys, I'll fire it back up. I gotta mount the tether still. Six hundred. Uh, front reservoirs are all mounted up. I got to figure out my ski situation still. My bolts are a little too short, and this ski is actually missing the bushings that go in the plastic on the sides, and the carbide's wore up. So I got to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do for skis. 
But other than that, she's up, she's running. The new skin tracker in. Still gotta tighten it up. And uh, I guess put the hood back on. But honestly, for now, I'm gonna call this done for this video. Stay around, next video, we'll take this thing out and I'll have the track tightened up, different skis on it and stuff, hood. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned, see how this thing does on the trail.